Good evening. I'm uh, here uh, selecting some tea from the uh, one of the tea shelves, and uh, so I do a little meditation here in the hallway with the tea yeah, before it's ready. Let's see if uh, there's actually more tea. See if uh, I can open this door and then sort of set up a little place to meditate for a few minutes with the tea. See how that works. Not novelty, but like with the tea is uh, something that's cultivated. That's of course an entire process. Prepared, that of course is also an entire process, though less likely to be noticed as a process. And then imbibed, which of course probably even less likely to be seen as a process. Of course, there are traditions and arts that really <clears throat> emphasize those processes. I have even simplified the process of getting tea into you by just saying cultivate and prepare and imbibe. But I can take that as the same process, that same simplification, uh, you know, with anything we take in, the same process as with the uh, peas that you plant in the garden or the uh, soy milk that you make or whatever. But the same thing is true for thoughts, the same thing is true for intentions, the same thing is through, true for emotions. So I'm going to just practice with my breath through an inhalation. Purposely cultivating an intention. Uh, I won't share with you what mine is, but yours can be almost anything, I think. So rather than just saying, okay, now this is my intention, which doesn't feel particularly recognized as a process and therefore unavailable to your focus on the way. As I inhale, feeling the breath enter the body, expand the ribs, warm the lungs. Or be warmed by the lungs, depending on the air. I guess in this case, be warmed by the lungs, moistened by the lungs, changed at any rate by the lungs. Just, uh, set some of my intention with this tea brick. Probably unable to see it, but there you are. So I'll be about the tea. This is an oxidizing tea, so it doesn't get wrapped carefully. You want the air to be able to continue with it. But I'm going to hold this in my intention. <clears throat> There's a couple of different ways we might do this, but uh, imbibing could be the inhale and then before
before the exhalation, while the breath is present in the self, uh, would be the cultivation. And then the exhalation would be the preparation. But I've started with an inhale, and that's, so that's the cultivation. So my breath is cultivating, or working in concert with my cultivation of intention. Once the breath is in the body inhabiting the space of the physical self, before it's exhaled, I'm preparing that which has been cultivated, and then the imbibing that, <clears throat> taking that in, letting it become the system is the exhalation. So we could say the exhalation is the fruition of the cultivation and preparation. But either way, the three-part breath cycle in, existing within exhalation, <coughs> can fit in with this three-part cultivate, prepare, and vibe, something that's practiced with tea. Something I'll do when I prepare tea conscientiously and be aware of those three processes. Of course, the tea's already been cultivated. It's already been prepared, uh, at least uh, uh, the portion before I make liquid tea. And there's a whole process to you know, pluck and go through and dry, uh, perhaps oxidize, perhaps bundle, transport. <coughs> This is the tea from the Tea Horse Road, so this one really had a lot of transportation involved in what we think of as the first stage of the preparation portion. The second being, you know, my, you know, brewing it, steeping it. So as we inhale, I'm, I'm aware of the cultivation of my intention. That's the end of my inhale. role of my inhalation. Once inhaled, I'm preparing that intention. When will it be given? Who will receive it? How will it be felt? And then the exhalation is the imbibing, whatever will be taking in the intention will become one with it. So that could be an item, it could be a person, a relationship, yourself, your sore elbow, whatever. So tea breath with me a few times.
nice little deep breathing. Uh, this meditation, much inspired by Drew Gerald, who was enjoying his own tea tonight. Maybe a quick look at some of the other tea, I suppose. A little bit more tea. some of these shelves here so thank you for joining me for some tea breathing and uh, have a good night now if I can just find the button <laughs>